Hi, my name's Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so today I went and picked up a package which arrived yesterday from the post office and as I open this I am going to talk about some of the blockbuster things that I hope to be able to share with you next week. So let's get this underway. Uh, well, the first thing that I want to discuss uh, is uh, I want to do a, a quick review uh, of my thoughts on uh, an aspect of the recent uh, NASA research uh, conducting uh, at, at NASA and the um, claims of finding neutrons of various energies. So I don't want to talk about that too much until I put the presentation together next week, but I think you may find that very, very interesting. The second thing is I uh, aim to finish and uh, produce the presentation describing how to make a Tesla carbon button and in my view why it was uh, producing certain effects which are widely reported and actually be honest about uh, what it actually achieved rather than what people may uh, be uh, misunderstanding it to have achieved. And then I am going to talk about how I uh, understand the PAP cell to work in one, or the PAP uh, device, in one aspect. And it isn't the complete story that I want to share with you, uh, because that would be a much longer presentation. But it is uh, part of the story, um, uh, and I think it's uh, the right time to go into that now, because... Uh, uh, things are going to come to the fore uh, and it's necessary to discuss these things uh, as I start testing the supernova which uh, maybe I don't know I'm uh, what I'm still waiting for actually is um, a diffraction grating and after this video I'm going to record a couple of other videos that are relevant to the supernova work um, but I'm waiting for a diffraction grating so I can do some uh, real-time spectrometry so what have I got in here I know what this is this is and I'm probably not wanting to touch the glass because it's going to cause a problem right so this will be our 30 uh, Russian made um, let's see if I can get my head in focus with my fingers in play these are 30 Russian-made 6D6A vacuum diodes. And uh, this is quite exciting. So uh, I'm going to send uh, some of these to Alan Goldwater in California, some more of them to Ryan Hunt, another director of the MFMP uh, at Hunt Utilities Group in Minnesota. And I'll also send uh, some to uh, John Hutchison, who I... Gave a forewarning earlier today uh, of their potential arrival. So there it is. Uh, what I will do uh, early next week is I will try and take some macro photography of these and some even microscopy if that is uh, going to be valid uh, and do some proper measurements uh, for people so that that is in the public domain. So there we go. Uh, that is a 66A and I should have... Uh, 30 of those I guess it's 10 per package that we've got here so thank you very much for your time and please tune in next week when I hope you will be very happy to uh, learn the things that I want to share with you uh, we're going to make a lot of progress this year I believe thank you very much for your time I will see you in the next video